Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the two column proof in triangle congruence. So in this lesson, you need to familiarize all the def definitions, postulates and theorems on triangle congruence. Go to our video or playlist to watch our definitions, theorems and postulates. Now let's have our problem number one. So we have the given, so this is our given, the illustration, AB is congruent to DB, okay, and C is the midpoint of AD, so C is the midpoint of AD. Now we're going to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D. B, C. Okay, in writing two column proof, we have here our first column for this statement and the second column for the reasons. Okay, so in our statements and reason, we need to write first all the given. So our given is AB is congruent to DB. Okay. That is our first given reason, given. Second given, C, C is the midpoint of, is the midpoint of AD, AD. That is also given. Now, after writing all the given, Use all your previous knowledge about the definitions, postulates, and theorems. In our given, C is the midpoint, no, midpoint of AD. We know that midpoint bisect the parts of the triangle into two equal parts. So, we can say that AC is equal to CD. So, we can say that AC is congruent to CD. CD. That is, by definition of midpoint. Okay. Midpoint bisect the segment into two equal or congruent parts. Now, We have side and another side, okay. We can say that BC for this BC is congruent to BC. That is by reflexive property of congruence okay reflexive property of congruence BC is equal to BC now study our illustration we can say that triangle A B C is congruent to triangle D B C D B C that is by side 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 postulate or the SSS postulate and that ends our two column proof so we have five statements and five reasons. Let's proceed to our second example. Now let us try to prove the two column proof using the given and our illustration here. Given angle B is congruent to angle E. 
angle B is congruent to angle E. BC is congruent to EC. We're going to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. Now, in our column for the statement, write all the given so angle B is congruent to angle E. Our reason that is given. Second, BC is congruent to EC. That is also given. Third, by definition, we know that vertical angles are congruent. So we can say that angle ECD, angle ECD is congruent to angle BCA, BCA, that is vertical angle theorem, okay? By vertical angle theorem, you can conclude that ECD is equal to or congruent to BCA. Now, study our illustration. Angle, side, angle. So we can now conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. That is by angle, side, angle, posture. Let's have this third example. Let's have this problem. So given AD is congruent to AE, angle B is congruent to angle C, and this illustration. So let us first find AD is congruent to AE. Okay. And angle B, where's angle B? Congruent to angle C. We're going to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACE using the two column proof. So, in our statement and, and reasons, write all the given. So, AD is congruent to AE. That is given. Second, angle B is congruent to angle C. That is also given. Now, study our diagram or our illustration. So, ABD, so that triangle, we're going to prove that they are, it is congruent to ACE. Okay? Notice that we have a common angle, which is angle A, which is here. So, third statement will be angle A is congruent to angle A. Our reason, reflexive property of congruence. Now, in our triangle, we have now the angle side angle. So, angle side angle. So, number four, triangle A, triangle A, okay? Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACE. That is by angle side angle or the ASA posture. Okay. That is on how to prove 
congruence triangle using the two column proof. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.